Signal Fires, I actually started 15 years ago. And I wrote about 100 pages, and then I lost my way. I wrote myself right into a wall. There was no getting around that wall. I was trying to tell the story backward in time, and there's a reason that we don't have many books that do that, because you run out of time if you keep going backward. And a character that hasn't been born yet, you can't keep writing about. So it was truly a flawed idea. But I loved my characters, and I loved the, the work itself. I was really proud of it. So it was very painful to put it away, but I, I had to. I couldn't figure it out. So I, I went on. I wrote other books. I never thought I would come back to it. Big things happened in my life, in my personal life, in, in my literary life. Um, and I think what happened is actually that everything that happened with me, the discovery of a huge family secret, um, the discovery that my dad hadn't been my biological father, um, my husband's very serious illness and recovery. A lot happened, a lot of life happened. And I think I became the person who was ready to write that book um, as my characters were in the drawer, you know, in sort of a deep sleep. And at the beginning of the pandemic, um, I was cleaning up my closet one day, doing all the things that we were doing during the pandemic. You know, I stopped baking and I went upstairs and I was cleaning. And there was the manuscript. And I just sat down on my floor right then and there and I, I, I reread it. And my head sort of exploded and I knew exactly what to do. It was a miraculous moment. It will never happen again because I don't have any other manuscripts in drawers. But it was like I had a hundred pages of like this lightning bolt that I then I just needed to hold on to and finish. And, um, and I, I finished it during, um, during the, the pandemic. One of the things that I realized, because these were characters that move around a lot in time, was that I had written a chunk of pages that took place on one night in the year 2010, and then a chunk of pages that took place on one night, New Year's Eve of 1999, so effectively exactly 10 years apart. And the thought that went through my mind was, now it's 2020, and who would these people be now? And there was an 11-year-old boy in 2010, and I thought, oh, he'd be 21. He'd be a college student. He'd have to come home. Where would he be in college? Oh, I know, Berkeley. What would he be doing? Oh, yeah, well, he's a kind of brilliant boy who is obsessed with the stars. He would be studying astrophysics at Berkeley. He would be very unhappy at having to come home. Why would he be unhappy? And so these questions all really animated. I did not want to write a novel set in the pandemic, and it's Signal Fires is not a novel that's set in the pandemic. There maybe are 10 pages in the whole book that take place in 2020. But I, that sliver of being able to have a little peek into their futures was enough to anim, anim, animate me to just completely return to, to the book. And it was um, such a magical experience.